Okay, let's look at this. Ignorance is the opposite of knowledge. Okay, this is what? Jumble sentence, huh? Ignorance is the opposite of knowledge. That is want of knowledge. To deal with uncertainty and blah, blah, blah. Like some ancient priest, king, the entrepreneur knows. Entrepreneur knowledge is essentially intuitive. It involves seeing and realizing a vision of... Okay, so uh, let's look for repeat words, okay? Entrepreneur, entrepreneur, entrepreneur. Any other repeat words? Ignorance, ignorance, knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Okay, now let's try and figure out what the topic sentence is. Entrepreneurial knowledge is essentially intuitive. If I take topic sentence as four, there is a clue word in the context, in the topic sentence. Can somebody quickly identify that? And because you identified that clue word, you can quickly connect one other sentence to it. Tanya and uh, Rishika, both of you have given me different sequences. I'm going to take both your sequences. Tanya's. Rishika's 4, Let's see which one of you is correct or maybe both of you can be wrong. We don't know but let's see. The, the clue word is intuitive. Okay. Now what's the meaning of intuitive anybody? When I say intuitive and understand the context first. Okay. We're talking about entrepreneurs here. Entrepreneurs are people who take risks, right? Entrepreneurs are people who say, hey, I don't want to study. I, I'm, I am willing to risk a steady income and I'm willing to do something different, something innovative, something creative. I don't know how the future will be, but I'm still willing to take that risk, right? How are they going by that? Because they have intuitive knowledge. What is intuitive knowledge? They don't have any reason or proof, right? They don't know how their business will do. Huh. So, entrepreneurial knowledge is essentially intuitive. Intuitive being your clue word. Five is the next sentence which is expanding on that intuition, right? It involves seeing and realizing a vision of future markets, products and or other opportunities. So, they're saying, I don't know, but I believe this is what it will be. I believe if I launch this product, maybe in the future, this product will gain some uh, traction and I will do well. Right? I see my business growing. This is what I see as a future for my vision for this product. Right? So, 4 and 5 is a link. So, Rishika, sorry, already the link is incorrect. Okay? So, 4, 5 is a link. So far, you're doing good, Tanya. The next three sentences are there. Let's see what can be a connect. Any, any other connects that you all are able to relate to? 2 follows one very good so uh, this connect also is pakka two follows one why is that let's look at it to deal with uncertainty and ignorance so this is ignorance is established or introduced in one ignorance is the opposite of knowledge that is want of knowledge so two has to follow one because one is where ignorance is ignorance is the keyword which is connecting these two sentences perfect so we have this link also so where is this three where can we fit this 3? Tanya is saying she's put it in between 4, 5 and 1, 2 link. But let's see, is that the right link or should it come somewhere else? Let's read, okay. Entrepreneurial knowledge is essentially intuitive. It involves seeing and realizing a vision of future markets, products and or other opportunities. Like some ancient priest king, the entrepreneur knows the future and leads his people. Now, it can either come there or... Can it also come and after two? Is, is there a possibility? Let's look at it. To deal with uncertainty in ignorance, econom economists have recognized the entrepreneur as possessing this non-rational form of knowledge. What is this non-rational form of knowledge referring to? The entrepreneur knows the future and leads his people. So, 45312 is what Tanya says. I'm leaning more towards 45123. So see, the eco economists have recognized the entrepreneur. He possesses this. And what does he do because of that? And because of that, it has to be. So what does he do? Because he possesses this non-rational form of knowledge, he is going to go and say, hey, like some ancient priest king, he's going to say, I know the future and I'm going to lead my people. Right? So three is kind of reiterating how why economists recognize entrepreneurs as possessing this non-rational form of knowledge. So, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. You almost close. You got the connects right, Tanya. 
So if, if they ask what's the first sentence, you'll get one point. What's the second sentence, you'll get one point. What's the third, fourth sentence, you'll get one point. What's the fifth sentence, you'll get one point. What's the third sentence? But see, that's that's another way to do it. Okay, instead of instead of oh, what do I say, losing all five marks, at least get three marks, right? If not five marks, most of us have a problem with. That's the only thing. If you're having trouble. After the topic sentence, you don't know how the sequence will go. Look for links. At least get some more points. And don't lose out or miss out on the complete five points.